carry your own weather with you. Hello. Hi. Hi, Jason. Hi. So, we are in business. Welcome back. Welcome back. Does anybody need... I didn't bring anything. So. You didn't bring anything? Are, they, are these? Yes. I think. Um, I have one spare copy of the books still to... Um, yes, fear. Was it? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. All right. Um, yeah, we are. Uh, chapter eight. Uh, um, is it is it worth recapping? It, yes, there's there's nothing. Well, there's nothing really. There's no, it won't it won't help us at all. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. No, it's a new bit, wasn't it? Well, we we got we got a little bit in. Yes. All right. So uh, so page one hundred and three. If you're in the um. In the red book. Um. Kuf Gimel. Thank you. You only need oh, to I'm remember. There. You only need to remember three, right? You need to remember Yud, which is ten. Awesome. That one I got. Um, <laughs> Nun, which is fifty, and then Kuf, which is a hundred, and then you can you can more or less bluff your way yeah. to everything else. All right. <laughs> are we all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me let me get us in, and then we'll um. I'll, no, I'll I don't think we are. We're on the front page, are we? Oh, you Oh, yeah, the whole, uh, flip the whole thing over. The other front. Yeah, by your male him. Now set a dumb So, uh, actually, uh, I, I, you know what? I, I, I printed out the, um, the, 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 this verse because it's such an odd piece of grammar. Pictures! We have pictures today. Ooh. We have golems, we have manuscript evidence, we have all kinds of stuff. No, no, you will you will know exactly who they are by the time we're done. That is a, that is a Talmudic drawing. Crazily. Okay. Um, we're not there yet. We're not we're not there yet. Okay, so Vayuvrahim et Adam but Salmor. God created Adam, which I will leave untranslated. In God's selem, in God's image. By the way, that's the opening of Mori Nevuchim, um, the guide to the perplexed. Uh, Rambam, once he's done all his kind of introductory stuff, the first thing that he does is he explains that selem, come in, come in, doesn't mean that God has eyes and ears. In other words, from this you know, hi, welcome, welcome. From this you know that uh, it, 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 the Bible thinks that God does, right? You know. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm reading an article at the moment by Shama Friedman, who's one of the world's leading Talmudic um, uh, scholars on anthropomorphization in the Talmudic period. Because, you know, there's a lot of it in the Torah and there's a lot of it in the, in the Talmud, but Rambam obviously decries it all. But here we have the, God, the, 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 the human being is made in God's Selem. But Selem Elohim bara oto, in the image of God, God created him, it's Adam, in the masculine. And then, Zachar and Nakiva, male and female, Bara'ota. He created them. Um, and now it looks like the Adam is plural. plural. Yeah, so it, it is a very, very strange verse. Um, so, Rabbi Yochanan Patach, so we have a Patechta, we have an opening Rabbi Yochanan, we expect the verse from far away and here it comes from Tehillim 139 Achor Tsartani Behind and in front you created me um, Judaism has lots of different names for creation, verbs for creation if, if Eskimos have lots of different names for snow um, and uh, English people have lots of different names for rain and boy do we, right? In Judaism you have lots of different names for creation So, but behind and in front you created me Amar Rabbi Yochanan Im zacha adam ochel shnei alamot shnei amar achor v'kedem tzartani. If uh, if adam is uh, zacha zacha meaning zocha. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm now in the midrash. Now in the midrash. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't clear. So Rabbi Yochanan patach. I'm now in the midrash. Achor v'kedem tzartani. Amar Rabbi Yochanan im zacha adam ochel shnei alamot. So if Adam is Zachar, I mean, not with a range, Merit, but meritorious, right? If, if Adam, thank you. If Adam is meritorious, then he eats the two worlds. Um, 
you might know that from Mission Player, right? That the two worlds are Olam Ha Zer and Olam Haba in this world and in the next world. And eating has to do with this idea that there would be like you plant seeds now that come out as fruit in the world to come, right? That you you get to eat in this world and eat in that world. There's there's a there's a Mishnah in Pair that talks about things that you do that you get to eat in this world and they still are edible in the world to come. Um, uh, if you honour your father and your mother, you get you can you, you get the enjoyment of it in this world and you get the enjoyment of it in the world to come. That's why you shouldn't give your safe to to the shore. You're not connecting with us with the forbidden fruit, are we? No, 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 no. No, we're, we're a long way away from there yet. Behind and in front, you created me. In other words, <coughs> the behind and in front, you created me, is now being understood almost sort of eschatologically. That, that you get, um, that the, 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 the human being was created with an idea that it would, there would be a heaven as well, or there would be some world to come as well, or there would be something that would survive after our death. So that we are created to exist both now and in some beyond our time future. So that's if you're Zachar, that's if you're meritorious. Be in love. If you are not meritorious, if you are a naughty boy, who bali ten din v'cheshbon. He comes to give you din v'cheshbon. Din v'cheshbon? Just an account. Yeah. Just, Just an account, right? It's kind of, it's a Yom Kippur uh, phraseology. What's, I can't, I can't quite pick a particular... A full account. Pr- um, but we, we, we talk about... Uh, um, um, Untanetokaf. Your, uh, what, what, what are we talking about? Cheshbon? Yeah. Din ah. Cheshbon is an account. Isn't yes, it is. I think it's in the liturgy. It's certainly, it's certainly in the Gemara. Um, that, that you give Din and Cheshbon on, on, um, on Yom Hadin. Um, but, uh, so if you are meritorious, you get fruit in this world and the world to come. If not, you get Din Cheshbon. Shnema Vitase Alai Kapecha. So the continuation of that verse from Psalms. It says, God created me with a, with, a, with a behind and an in front and put upon me <coughs> cuff. Cuff? A spoon. No. Good, 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 good. good. Tell me, Kefa, you might say to a little kid. Give me five. No. Um, anything cave-like. Uh, cap, oh. kippa, cuff, cupit, spoon, teaspoon. Cup here, yeah. um, and palm. If you you know if you're good you get uh, you get uh, you get both worlds if not you put your palm on my uh, on me you get just why I do the the clap on Friday night during Friday night yeah, yeah, yeah. on Shabbat it's the right. same it's exactly the same Amar Rabbi Yermia Ben Elazar so another another one B'shash Braha Kodesh Baruch Hu Et Adam Harishon Androginos Boro at the time when God created the first human being, androgynous. Um, androgynous. androgynous. Well, no, right? So it, 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 we, would trans, we would understand the word androgynous to mean... No gender. No gender. Uh, how's how's like your Greek? Right, yeah. Amoral. Amoral means no morals. Androgyno means no gender. But that's not what they mean, as we shall see. The correct translation of androgynous into English is hermaphrodite. <laughs> it's right. also very confusing. Um, we'll see what's going on here. How do we know that it doesn't mean no gender from the verse? What in the verse tells me that, that, that this first Adam does, you know, has gender, or maybe even genders? Zachar u nekiva. It says in the verse, right? Masculine and feminine. So it's not that, that the human being has no gender, it's that he has or Adam, Adam, now I, I should watch my pronouns. Adam has both genders. Um uh, Androgynous Boro, Hadahu Dichtiv, Zacha Unakiva Bara. Male and female God created that Adam now maybe plural, maybe singular. Um and here's a picture for you. Um Well we'll do a bit more and we'll, we'll learn a bit more about this picture. Um page four. Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. If there are genders, it means if there's a difference between genders. But if there's no difference, then there's only one gender. Right. right. Well, I mean, yes. I mean, in, in some ways, it's dealing with this with this problem, which is that if you create a single human being, and in the future you want sexual reproduction, 
you need to have both male and female sort of yeah. present, mm. you know. <coughs> and so how do you, so it, 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 I mean, we, we, we get the story, right, about the, 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 the cellar and the rib or whatever, as we understand mm. it. We're going to get, we're going to see a bit of that now. But the, that postdates creation. And it says that God created everything before Shabbat. In other words, God has to have created female reproductive capacity as well as male reproductive capacity before Shabbat in a single Adam, in a single... And we're only, we're only told of one, one human's worth of creation. So it's actually, it's a perfectly good idea made even more valid by this very, very strange bit of grammar in the biblical verse where it says, Zahar and Akiva Bar'am. Um, and it might even be a pshat. It might even be like that. This is the straightforward meaning of the verse. And I mean, what's certainly the case is that the kind of um, you know the, the pictures that we have seen in our mind of of you know God creating a very male Adam and then coming back and taking out of the rib a female Adam. It won't you know like the the, the this this ver that's a that's a. Genesis 2 version of male and female the Genesis 1 version of male and female is just a bit more complicated and we don't quite have the right imagery for it unless you start playing around with a picture like this let me do a little bit more inside the text and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll stop and we'll stop and um, and try and work out what's going on um, shortly Amara can you see where I am three mm. lines up um, mm. two words in uh, this this side uh, uh, Amara Amar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachman, b'shash Abraham Kodesh Baruch Hu Adam Rishon, dayu partsufim boro. So the time when God created Adam Harishon, Dieu, as we would say in French, right, or Dieu, um, two or uh, dual, partsufim. And I've given you, I've given you, I think the the Jasper on partsuf. Sorry, it's slightly out of order. It's on the, it's on the back of uh, the page, um, partsuf. Um, I'm sorry we don't have any of our proper linguists here, um, <laughs> but even I can speak, see a pie, right? It's it's from the Greek part of film. Yeah, you can you see where I am? I'm on I'm on um, I'm, on, I'm, I'm here on the first one. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. 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 So part of comes from comes from the Greek. I'm going to guess that says partsupos, partsupos, or parrots. I don't know. Face, visage, frontage. So double fronted. Um, uh, and there should be a gesture bonus. I would be amazed if there's not a gesture bonus because this is such an important midrash. Um, like a two face, like Janus, is it? That type of thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, not just face, but frontage. Right, the problem. I mean, you know, forgive me for talking about sexual organs, but right, you know, the problem is you've got to have mm. the, the gendered thing right. So that's mm. why. This is right. This is exactly what um, Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachman had it had in mind. Double fronted. Almost like Siamese twins. It almost like Siamese yeah, twins. Yeah. Although, I think I'm right in saying that you can't have cross gender Siamese twins because it's one fertilized egg, <laughs> which begins to split as an identical twin would be, but doesn't quite fully separate. Right. That's I think that's the. Um, Conjoined, I think we're now we're now instructed to, to call them right. That's that's where you get conjoined twins from. So I mean, you know, medically impossible. A diopartsufim boro v'nisro v'aso gabayim gabayim gavlakan or gavlakan. And I gave you nasar the 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 the, the root nasar because it's quite a it's quite an interesting root. I'm now back on the front page of my of my little handout. So he created Sorry. them with two partsufim and then nun samach resh. Split, right? They bought the cedar and sawed it through, or they planed it into boards. So you you can kind of imagine. I mean, I, I, I you know one of those kind of circular saw things where you kind of you know you run the thing through one of these circular saws and you end up having two things. Gov gabayim. Gov is a is a back. Gabayim is plural. And whenever you hear that plural sign, right? Ayin a naim. Um, uh, Berach birkayim, one knee, two knees, gabayim, double backed. So, so first God made this diopatsufim thing, this singular entity with two faces, and then turned it into a double backed entity by splitting it 
down the middle. Yeah, govlakan, govlakan. A back one side and a back on the other side. I, I, I mean, I just kind of think that this is kind of interesting as a sort of a gendered read. In, in, in you know, it, it is an opposite way of understanding the creation of humanity <coughs> from the notion that um, God created um, man and then came back and created woman. Uh, you know, uh, from the quotes spare rib, right? I mean, and, and all the all that kind of gender discourse that arises out of uh, 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 out of um, you know that understanding of so the that Torah. came later in in the uh, Torah, right? Right, right, right. Well, we'll see how we'll see how this midrash mm. understands the creation of woman um, in, in 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 a second, right? A tivun lay. A critique, a challenge <coughs> to this idea. Vaha Kativ, doesn't the verse say, I've just turned over the page, Vaikach Achat Mitzlatav, and God took one of the tzelas of the first Adam, right? I mean, this, this is from Genesis 2.21. Do we know the context of this, right? God uh, wants to make a... Uh, um, uh, a partner for Adam and Adam tries all the animals doesn't work so God makes God sleep and God takes one of the cellars translated by the King James Bible you didn't check the King really? James Bible today as rib right you know mm. translated as rib said, but, but actually it's an old understanding what no it says that when God created Eve God created it from one of the ribs so that would be a challenge from this idea that originally it was Daupatsufim and then it was split down the middle Gavlakan and Gavlakan what's the Hebrew word for rib Sela. 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 Sadi Lamad Ayin. Could be good. Not Selem. Not, not Selem. No. No, no, no. Sawa. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to explain to you, I was teaching Hebrew on Sunday, and I was trying to explain how to properly pronounce an Ayin. Um, <laughs> you know, the best way to think about it is in terms of either Gaza, which is pronounced in Hebrew, Aza, written with an Ayin, or Gaza, right? So it's, it's so far back in the mouth. That it's actually almost <laughs> audible, or Afghanistan, um, you know, which which would also be written in. Um, I, I think I think in contemporary Hebrew it's written with the gimel, but it, it, it it's 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 an line so strong that it's almost a ah sound, right? So, but you kach had tav. I was um, in Harnoff with my brother for a Shabbat, and um, he gets to choose where we daven, and he said, oh, you know, come come here, this guy, here this guy, here this guy. And, you know, and he took me to this place and it's all, it's all Ashkenaz. It's all Ashkenaz. And this guy governed with meticulous iron and uh, pronunciation. None of this Yiskadal for Yiskadash. You know, it, it was absolutely uh, meticulous with his irons. And he, you know, he wanted me to appreciate, which I did. It was really, it was, uh, it was good to hear an Ashkenaz governing properly. I say that as an Ashkenaz. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. Um, yeah, right. That means a so it says in the verse says this is the challenge to the diopods of him. I've got you know what? Um, Jen, I, just the cold. It's all right. No, no, but just that corner, just in the corner of that top bookshelf there, yeah. are um, vocal zones, which are the most wonderful things if you feel you might have a bit of a cough. The top <laughs> They're yeah, they're they're an CD, um, but they are they are absolutely magnificent. Oh, um, no, no, you shut. Them. Yeah, you know, you, you yeah, you just you, 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 them. you just let it let it right. let it do its okay. funky thing at the back of your throat. Um, right. So 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 we've just had this this challenge, but doesn't it say that God took a rib from a male and made a woman out of that? Okay, so here comes the response to the challenge. Amarlahon mit rain sitra high from one of the two sides. Not a rib, a sitar, a, a side. How do I know that the word cellar means side and not rib? I just want to add and to confirm what you are saying. Back home, we say mouth, that's side. As translated by the King James ribs, we say Good, good, good. Well, then you're on, you're on, you're absolutely onto this. How do I know that the word seller means side from this mm -hmm. verse in Shemot 26? Anyone know what's happening in Shemot 26? Give you a clue. Ten Commandments of Shemot 19. Shemot 26, we are discussing how you build a Mishkan. Mm -hmm. Slay 
Utsele, ut, sorry, Ulitsela ha Mishkan. Well, talking about the cellar so, of the Mishkan. Well, it, you know, you can't have a rib of a Mishkan. When you're talking about the cellar of the Mishkan, what are you talking about? The side of the fish kind. You know, why it's, got, it's X distance on one side, it's X distance down the other side. Oh, In other words... With a modern building, you would have ribs to the building. You? Oh, very interesting. Well, I think it was the, you know, that, that Noah's Ark thing right. in Hammersmith, right? When they built the thing out like this. Right? But, but, but this is a perfectly good... Let me just do this in the middle first. I'll come with you just in a second. It's a perfectly good rebuke to the challenge, right? We said, govla khan, govla khan. No, no, no. Seller means rib. No, it doesn't, because we use seller to refer to the side of the Mishkan. And it just says, umitargaminan, and in the Targum, in the translation of that, we translate selaha Mishkan to uh, ul, ulistar Mishkana, and the, the satar, the side of the Mishkan. So we have preserved the, the validity of this Dao Partsufim, Gav Gabayim, and then and then Nasrallah Gabayim, Gavlakan and Gavlakan. So where do you think the the idea of the rib came from? Why 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 did the early translators uh, favour the, the word rib rather? Well, I mean, it's not it's not only people like King James. It's also who asks this challenge? Uh, there is there's the anonymous challenge. I mean, the anonymous challenge thinks that it comes from a rib. I mean, you know, it is, it is, I, it is. I, I was told, and this may be inaccurate, that medically women have a less, one less rib. One less rib. Yeah, yeah, I think I've, I think I've heard that as well. Yeah. But I don't know. And they they attach differently. We'll count. We'll count later. <laughs> 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 so what are you going to say? It's, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 men it, have one less rib than women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It, it's strange that it's nearly the same word. And and selem is is image, so it's like interpretation. And when you say um, the side, uh, which side are you on one side? It's again towards an interpretation. So there is a kind of link between the two. Sort words. of, although I'd, I'm not sure you're allowed to say that selem and selah are, um, are you, you you know that that would be midrashically cheating, right? You can use. Uh, you can use the same root, mm -hmm. but actually, Sadi Lamad Mem and Sadi Lamad Ayin, they're quite radically different. I suppose it would be like saying that fish and um, fin mm. are etymologically connected because they both begin for it. I mean, it, it, it's, when there's two roots, it's not two two connected. No, no, no. no. Okay. I mean, there are. I mean, there are, there are some strange verbs mm -hmm. where they have weak, mm -hmm. where they have weak letters in them. But, but 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 that's not the case here. Great idea. I like it. I like it. But um, it's midrashically cheating. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And the moment uh, uh, Abis got to a point about the cellar, and then I said, back home we also say ma, which is side. Ma 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 wu, ma means nation or country, and wu means seed or bone. And remember. When Eve was created, Adam called her life, the mother of all living, according to the Bible. So seed, the seed of a woman, and then the, it uh, relates to the seed of a woman because he was not born, she was not born, but the seed was taken from uh, yes, the side, which is to represent the country, the life of the country, or the life of people they, that will come after them, or human beings that will, let me, pardon me, using the human beings that will come after them. Thank you. Because, uh, okay. Uh, that's the who, the, the ma, who. Okay. Um, so that's as far as we got to last time we met. <laughs> um, but someone wants to, to pick up with Rabbi Tanchuma. How are you going, Martin? <laughs> Rabbi Tanchuma Beshem Rabbi Banai Rabbi Berchai Beshem Rabbi Eliezer Amar Besha'a Shebara HaKodesh Baruch Et Adam Harishon uh, Golem Baro Brao Post, okay. You can probably translate all of that. So <laughs> looks long, but it's not at all scary. Uh, Rabbi Telchuna in yep. the name of Rabbi uh, Banai and Rabbi Barchea. 
uh, in the name of Rabbi Eliezer, uh, said that in the hour that um, God created um, the first the first man, mm-hmm. Golem Baro. Golem is translated as Golem. Golem. <laughs> God created, golem was created. God created a golem, right? <laughs> How did... Well, here we go. So, so this is the origin of the idea of the golem in, in rabbinic literature. Um, the, so so the, Hebrew, the, the Hebrew word golem, I've given this to you uh, on the bottom of the second page. A golem literally is to sort of make make a lump of clay, right, to sort of roughly shape up. So, uh, I, and I, I think the image is, is, is almost, um, you know, uh, wet sand. You'd sort, of, you'd sort of pile it up into a sort of a human-ish, humanoid kind of shape. So, you know, how did God make, man, God created a, a golem, and then it says that God, you know, invested into the golem uh, ruach, spirit, or, you know, we have other midrashim that go blue into the mouth of the golem. You know, so that the original body was a sort of a, a, uh, a kind of a clumped, a, a, a shape. Yeah, or sort of, you know, it was it was shaped, in, lump. roughly shaped, a lump. A lump yeah. um, so it, wasn't, it wasn't invented by Tolkien then. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the, so I'm, 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 I'm. I'm uh, I mean, I'm having these conversations with my kids at the moment. <laughs> one of whom is just finishing The Hobbit. The other one of whom is just about to start rehearsing Lord of the Rings as a school player. So that's they've bitten up a lot there. But um, uh, what the relationship is between Gollum of Tolkien and Gollum of the Talmudic imagination, I'm not entirely sure. But the idea of Gollum in rabbinic and Talmudic imagination is en route to the creation of humanity but lacking in life and soul <coughs> and therefore the ability to They're not too different. make decisions. Too different. And, and, and I, think it's, I think it's very, very interesting. Yeah. And um, uh, one of the things about mm. magic is that the ability to do magic is the ability to come close to the creative power of God, right? You know, so um, uh, I, I can create... Um, you know, I, I, I can make things out of wood, you know, as does God. You know, I can't make the tree itself, right? That's that, or unless I plant it, which is kind of a bit godly. I mean, those of us who garden, there's something kind of miraculous about that. You know, but, but there's a certain point where it gets beyond normal human into yeah. the realm of magic. And that's why you get kind of, that's one of the sort of the classic magical ideas is the idea of the golem, that who can be created not up to full human capacity, but up to a certain kind of level. Sorry, one second, let let Joe, you go. No, no. (laughs) One of the rabbis, is it century, 16th century? Mm. The the 16th century, German or elsewhere. In Prague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, We also do that back home, you know. I'm sure. We come to that clay, we use clay as for craft. But they always tell the girls of we say no no this is only for the men, the boys but at times we also play a part we do the latte mm. ancient yeah. Israel for cooking and that kind of thing with the clay. So I mean you know the, the fantastic the, uh, book is <laughs> the Amazing Adventures of Cavalier in Clay by Michael Chabon. If you haven't read it, I I, I, I go read it. Um, but that remind takes us back to your book where the abbeys said that yes the man and the woman creates the body which is Sue oh, no, as we have with Suzanne oh, and Sue and uh, then God pulls the power we'll do that another, we'll do that another time ok um, <coughs> yeah, back, back, back with you Milton Vahaya Vahaya Mutal Misofa Olam Vahad Sofo Adahu Dichtiv Galmi Ra'u Enecha Vagome so Vahaya um, Mutal what's a Tiol? The Tayala. Oh, difficult, yeah, difficult week for the Tayala. Um, to go on a tour. It's, it's like a tour. Yeah, good, like, good, good. Yeah. And and took 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 this Adam on a tour, on a on a journey. Yeah. Right, misofo alam, we had sofo. From one end to the other. Good. Took him on a whole, you know, and look around. At hadahu as it says. 
Um, and then this verse from, from Psalms. Gal mi ra'u enecha. You saw me as a golem. You saw me as a as a lump. God, you know me so well. You knew you know me since before I was even a human, since I was just a lump of clay, and you were taking me around to show me the world. Sadly, no more to say about golems today. Where did you get that the golems taken around? The best one. Because... Oh, very good. Well, let's have a quick look. Um, Psalm one hundred and thirty-nine. Uh, I guess if we did last one, it's enough. It's there, it's just flat. Can you see it on the top shelf? Thank you. Their transfer, their understanding of this, the, the mass extended, the lifeless lump extended from one. Oh, 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 okay. Right, right, right. But that, then that, 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 that's a bit of, that's already, that's already a cheat, right? So it's hang on, 139, uh, 60. Um, my frame was not concealed from you when I was shaped in a hidden place knit together in the recesses of the earth your eyes saw my unformed limbs um, they were recorded in your book in due time they were formed to the very last tuck, 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 tuck. Um, I don't have a good it was you I don't have a good answer to that yeah. it's, it's a terrible proof yeah. uh, but it is it is, it's a, it's a, it is a good proof that the human being, that the first human being was originally a gala. Yes. Don't we have it with um, the best book? If we go, we should turn to the book of Yerel uh, For it says, before I formed you in your mother's womb. Yeah, you were unformed. You, yeah, you. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, um, Moshe Idel's got a really nice book on golems. I've written a bit on golems. If you're interested in golems, let me know. Um, so it's just before the, the, they were split, as it were? Yes. Before yeah. Or, or maybe, or maybe this is no longer dealing with that. Maybe this is, we've moved on. Um, you know, this is a this is a dub. This is another um, another idea. Okay, good. Um, great. Anybody else want to have a go, Rudy? Do you want to keep going, Milton? No, the takers. <laughs> do you want me to? Well, why don't you like? Let me do. Let me do a bit, and you can you can do you can do the next bit. Um, so, Rabbi Yeshua ba Nachemia. Rabbi Yehuda bar Simon b'shem Rabbi Elazar Amar. So Rabbi Elazar is getting in all over the place. He obviously really likes this. Amar, Melo kol haolam boro, filled up all the world. He created it. Min ha Mizrach l'ma'arav, from the east to the west. I talked about Erev on mm. Shabbos, right? Can you see that? That's that mm. that, 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 that route, Erev. Um, me nine. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me let me let me read that slightly differently. Melokol um, filled the entire world. Ni me nine. What's your biblical proof that it's full of human uh, that the, the human being was full from east to west? I think this might be what mm. you were just looking at, Gerald. Mm. It's a different midrash, right? Shnemar achor bekedem sartani. As it says, before and in front you created me. Uh, sorry, behind and in front you created me. Um, in Hebrew, the word east is sometimes kedem. Yama v'kedma tzvahana v'nehegba. So uh, yama is to the, if you're in Israel, the sea is to the... Right, west. West, and kedma is east, east right? So kedem. And why, why do you think you might have kedem means first, right? Or, you know, why do you think you might have east as kedem? That's the way it's Yeah. No, that's the way you No, because. That's where the sun was. Yeah, because that's when that's the beginning, right? Then the sun comes yeah, up sun. in the Kedem. It comes up at the first place. So um so when it says a Khorva Kedem Sartani, which we'd previously understood to mean in this world and in the world to come, we're now understanding it to mean that the human being stretched out from the east to the behind. Um actually I, I know this from um, my Sanskrit. Um, one of the one of the one of the uh, classic yoga asanas <coughs> is called Pashivottanasana, which is the, the the stretch of the behind, the stretch of the west, which is you 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 bend down and touch your toes, stretching out your back and the the backs of your legs. So it's the bit that faces the behind because it's the front is the east and the back is the west. So that's a Khorba Kedem Tartani. So now we need to ask the question. 
Mitzafon Ladrom from north to south had Minayan. What's your biblical proof that the human being was was created from north to south? So now we've got a verse from Devarim. Mikatsei Hashemayim, Ad Katsei Hashemayim. From the ends of the heavens to the ends of the heavens. Quite why that doesn't work for east and west or for everything else. But, you know, now it's going to be from north and south. So that we're reading that verse uh, tightly. I think I just pulled that verse out because there was one thing that I was interested in. No, it wasn't interesting enough. No, sorry. Um, um, and where do you know that the human being was created even af b'chilul shel olam? Chilul? The emptiness, the void of the world. Shnema v'tashet alav kapecha. Um, we had that verse before. And you put upon me your path. Kamada um, at amar. As in this verse from um, Job. Kapecha me'alai tircha. Take your palm away from me. Um, make it so... Uh, uh, it's kind of, I think, to do with punishment. It's not a particularly good midrash, but um, it's just playing with this idea that the first human being isn't really like human beings that you or I might be thinking of. Um, and they might have, you know, Deo Papsufim, it's certainly a whole lot larger. Um, it's a different kind of uh, human being from everybody else who, uh, who follows. Ah, sorry, let me just rephrase that. How do we know that the human being even extends to the very depths of the world because you take your hand off me, right? How tall am I at this point? How high do I reach? Yeah, sorry, that was sorry. That was the that's how that biblical verse is being uh, is being understood. Um, yes, good. Um, Milton, we're back with you. Amar Rabbi Eleazar, Achor Lamaase Yom Harishon, Vekedem Lamaase Yom Haacharon. Who da daate darbi Eleazar? Pause there, pause there. Amar Rabbi Eleazar, behind Lamaase, Achor was made on the first day, Kedem, uh, east. Uh, was made on the last day. Okay, so this is a disagreement with Achor and Kedem being east and west. Instead, Achor is meaning the first day and Kedem is meaning the last day. We're going to, we're looking into eschatology here, you know, the end of time. So, um, uh, so that the Achor is the Masa Yom Rishon, is the, is the things that were made on the first day and, Ke and uh, sorry, Kedem is, is Kedem, it? Uh, Achor is Masa Rishon, right? What was in the past and what is still to come is the days of is the last day of creation. So who date de Rabbi Eliz to de Rabbi Elazar, and that is the opinion of Rabbi Elazar. Put it the other way around. Here. Yeah, I'm, it's, yeah, and I, I, I don't. It's, that's probably right, although it doesn't matter right. much. I mean, that's, that's just going to be a manuscript. Yeah. 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 But the Amar Rabbi Eliezer. Uh, Amar so, so, so Rabbi Elazar said that when the biblical verse says <coughs> let the earth bring forth the spirit of wild animals according to their species what does that include? That was the spirit of man. Ah. The first man. Yeah. And that was not the first day, but... The last day. Fifth, fifth oh. day? Fifth, fourth, fifth, day. fourth, fourth, fifth day. Right? The, the God created the spirit of man even before God created man. In other words, the, the human being was created having already been created. We've done a little mm. bit of this before, stretching the kind of the breadth of stuff. That God was... The, 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 sorry, now humans were created before they were created. And now we should expect to see something saying that they continue even after they've been created. So let's let's just keep going. Amar uh, Rabbi Shmuel ben Lakish. No, Shimon. Shimon. Uh, sh uh, sorry. Shimon. This, by the way, is terribly corrupted, right? I mean, it, sorry, it's just a, the text is a mess. Amar Rabbi Eliezer. So Rabbi Eliezer says such and such. And that is date to Rabbi Eliezer. And that's in the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer. 
for Rabbi Eliezer says, I mean, it just goes on. And so now we get, and now Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, and we get the same thing again. That's the date to Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, to Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish. It's still slightly um, uh, choppy. So Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Achor Lamase Yom Ha'acharon, Vekedem Lamase Yom Harishon. Who date dar darshi? De Rabbi De Rabbi Shimon. Oh, De Rabbi Shimon, ben Lakish, da Amar Reish Lakish. Veruach uh, Elohim mirchefet al pnei hamayim. Pause. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just uh, just just a little bit more. Zor Rucho. Okay. And so um, we've just had, uh, yes, uh, um, I think I think Joel just reads ahead in the English, corrects where I am, <laughs> saying, I think it's the other way around. And I, I, I'm slightly thrown yeah. by that, but it then turns out that you're just, you're just several lines, you're just a couple no, no, of lines it, ahead. It was before as well. It, okay, it, it, all right. So, so Rabbi Shul ben Lakish disagrees with Rabbi Elazar. Rabbi Elazar thinks that Achor is the past and Kedem is the future. But Rabbi Shimon thinks that Achor is the past and Kedem is the future. Yeah. That's what's going on yeah. there. Right? And his proof is, uh, Reish Lakish says, that Ruach Elohim merachafet al panei hamayim, this verse that the Spirit of God hovers over the face of the earth. Who is that? That's the who. What, what is that Ruach uh, there? That is the Ruach of Melech Hamashiach. That's the Messiah. In other words, what was the first thing that God created on this? On this, what was the thing that God created in verse two of the Bible? The Messiah. God set up the end of the story. It's a bit, it's Jacobian. It's that classic Jacobian thing. That in Act 1, somebody wanders around and says, oh, is that a gun on that shelf? How interesting, <laughs> right? You know that in the end of the movie, someone's going to get shot, right? It's exactly that, that, that God set in Melech HaMashiach right at the very, very beginning, and the whole story wanders along, but um, uh, the story is, um, you know, the, the end of the story is already uh, set, fixed. Uh, right, so now we just need to um, to prove that Melech um, HaMashiach is the Ruach Elohim that was Merachafet HaMayim, that was hovering on the face of the earth. Um, so here we get this verse. Yeah, Ruach So I've brought you, I've brought you uh, Isaiah 11. I wrote Isaiah 11 at the bottom of the first page and then put the actual verse here. So this is this very famous um, end of um, uh, eschatological vision of Isaiah, probably the most famous uh, messianic vision that we have in the entire Torah. Right Then there came, can you see where I am? Uh, just at the back of the first page of the handout. Um, which confusingly doesn't say... Um, yeah. Which confusingly doesn't say Isaiah 11 there. It says Isaiah 11 at the bottom of the first page. But uh, sorry, uh, sorry, right? And there shall come forth a shoot out of the stock of Jesse. It says, once everything has been completely and utterly destroyed, a twig shall go forth out of its root, and the Spirit of God shall rest upon him. Whom? Sorry, what is that? The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of God. And, uh, the, and his delight shall be in the fear of God. He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither decide after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the land, and he shall smite the land with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked, and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and the faithfulness the girdle of his reins, and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lying, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Messianic vision, this is as close as the Torah gets to talking about um, a, a kind of Messiah. And look at how that opens. Verse 2. V'nacha alav ruach Adonai. Oh. That the ruach of Adonai settles into the Melech HaMashiach, the king, the, the Messiah. And where did God get that ruach from? Can't have created it new. Why not? God's already created everything. So where did God create the ruach for the Melech HaMashiach that God's going to need at the end of time? V'ruach Elohim Merach Sorry? Not from Adam. Not from Adam. No, no, no. Not from Adam. Although, although Melech Mashiach, I mean, it, 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 it's an interesting point. The, 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 the Mashiach is a human mm -hmm. 
um, thing, Jewishly, oh. to the extent that it's kind of a, oh. a, uh, a tangible vision at all. It's not some half-human, half-divine vision. Um, but yeah. it's a human with the Spirit of God, just like we're humans with the Spirit of God. Right, yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, right, but with a little bit of yeah, and, and that, 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 spirit that spirit. by the way, that's perfect, right? I mean, that, that, that is that, 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 I mean, it doesn't yeah, have the Christian more. ideas behind it, <laughs> correct? Yeah, so does that imply that all human people have a ruach which is, as it were, hovering around somewhere before you're born? I mean, there are three oh, words that get used for, for spirit, right? Ruach, um, nefesh, and neshama. Um, right. and what is usually said is that. All living things, and this includes things like plants, have ruach. Yeah. Um, nefesh is sort of higher animals. Yeah. Uh, not including things like um, mosquitoes and uh, you know, and the shama is is unique only to human beings. So okay. we have ruach, nefesh, and the shama, and that tree has ruach. Okay. Um, but, all, but all human beings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So, sorry. <coughs> does that imply? All right, I'll rephrase the question and say: Does it mean that all the shamas were created beforehand? I guess, and so. then <laughs> doled out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there are. I mean, there. There's. Um, I was reading about one coming down to each baby that's born, and the, I, mean, uh, yeah. I guess Sophia yeah. was just was just alluding to it. Um, I just read while I was on holiday Hillel Halkin's book. Um, uh, I think it's called until 120, but it's it's a survey mm. of an understanding of death in Judaism, and he he does he takes you through um, the reincarnation theology that arrives in Judaism under Isaac Luria in the kind of 17th century in Sephard, which is based on this idea that there are a fixed number of souls, and they kind of they go around until they get uh, until they are entirely mushlam, until entirely full, and only then do they sort of leave the cycle of having to go round and round. Um, uh, this this and they're rather like Ar the Arist Aristotelian idea of indestructibility of uh, of matter. Isn't that similar? Yep. Is it completely indes you know matter is indes indestructible? So, is mm. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so because I think people think that when you die you go to Sheol and that is lost. But there's, there's new people being created all the time, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. So Interesting, right? I mean, uh, 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 I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. So th I was just wondering if there was a link between that and Shekhinah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Shekhinah is usually understood as the, um, uh, not as the Ruach. Ruach is masculine. So, um, and the Shamar is usually the kind of Shekhinah y soul partnering mm. thing. Um, I mean, that's, we're starting, I mean, the. I, I, I'm, I'm hesitating for two reasons. One is because that's all part of a tab of a cabalistic uh, typography that this isn't right. I mean, yeah. it's a different kind of thing. And the second one is I'm, I'm not entirely uh, uh, sure of my footing in all of that partly because it it chops and changes. I mean, Cordovero is is good at systematizing all that kind of stuff, but even still, sometimes difficult to keep track of everything. Mm -hmm. In Jicatilia, um, all right. Uh, yeah, not in Im, Im Zaharadam. Can you see where we are? Sort of four lines up, two words in, three words in. Im Zaharadam Omrim Lo Akta Kazmata Le Malach Le Malachay Hasherate Vim Laav Omrim Lo Tavuv Kadama Zvuv Lo Zvuv Kadamcha Yatush Kadam Kadam Kha Shlil Shul the Kedma Pause, 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 pause. Kedma okay. So Im Zacha Adam, we've had this before, if a human being is Zilche. Uh, pure. Um, good, right, yeah, if you're a good, if you're good, Omrim Lo. It is said. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We. we you, you. They say they, to him, they, or it's said to him, right? It's said to him. Yeah. Atakad mata la malachei hasharet. Atakodem. Shortly. Soon. Before. Before. Oh. 
You you came before the angel angel of death, right? No, angels, oh, angels. Oh, okay. you know, So if if human beings are behave well, mm-hmm. then they say about a human, they say about such a person, wow, you know, you came before the angels. Why? Because the ruach Elohim came in the beginning, or the human being was prefigured, came really really early. Um, mm-hmm. So we got that in the we got that in the lachat don't we? Um, uh, uh, last to be created, but first in mind. Um, What's that line? Um, uh, right? First, first thought, last created. But if you if you're well behaved, you say, "Wow, human beings are so good. We're so great. Created before the angels." But im love, im lo, right? Uh, he said to you, "Zavuv kadmach, kadmacha." Yeah. So zavuv is a mosquito. A yitush is a mosquito. And a uh, shulshul is a mosquito, a uh, hornet, fly, uh, you know, uh, whatever these kinds of things, because... So you've got the spirits of wasps and... Right, 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 because they were all created before the human being. So, you know, if we're well, if we live up to the best that we can be, we will, we're, 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 we're before the angels. If we live down to the worst that we can be, we're after the mosquitoes and the uh, and the and the the, the 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 gnats and all that kind of stuff. In the south, that's our turn up. There is a place which says that we are little lower than angels. Yeah. Yes, because we celebrate Sukkot, uh, Sukkot and it was uh, Yaakov Israel who first went there and set up Sukkot when he parted with Esau. Yes, what does Sukho mean? It means the clay or the dust from which we were created. So that's what it means. Caught lying in that in the tent. Okay. In the tent, it was all wilderness or forest. Mm-hmm. We call it that's Ko. So Sukkah comes from it yes. comes from the Hebrew to, yes, to, yes, to, yes. to cover. All right, let's yes. let's so so uh, I, it's quite it's quite fun. I like that idea that if we're good, we're great. If we're bad, we're awful. <laughs> Amar Rav Nachman. So we're still playing with this verse. Rav Nachman says, Achor l'chol ma'asim, v'kedem l'chol onshim. So we are after everything that was created and before anything that got punished. <laughs> Which I think is, 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 uh, is, 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 is a nice read. Amar Rabbi Shmua, af b'kilus eino bo elo ba'achona. Even when it comes to kilus, anachon we we have that. Uh, to be koles is a is a is a Greek word meaning to um, praise. So even when it comes to praising, we only come last, or we come nowhere else other than last. I uh, turn the page. Hadahu dirtiv, as it says, and um, this is going to be a journey into Psalms one hundred eight. Hallelujah, So just uh, Psalms, sorry, Psalms one hundred and forty eight. Psalm one hundred and forty eight is one of the last psalms mm. of. Um, Suke de Zemra, and it is a kind of a repeat of, um, it's like this, um, hallelujah, hallelujah to the name of Shemayim, praise from the heavens, praise from the angels, the host, the sun, the moon, the stars, the waters, they who you commanded were created, so it kind of, it kind of goes through the creation narrative, um, uh, praise you the uh, earth, the sea monsters, um, the wild and the tame beasts, the creeping things, the winged birds, and then all the kings and peoples of the earth, the princes of the earth and its judges, youths and maidens alike, old and young together. So it's a very um, from psalm that kind of runs straight through the first chapter of Genesis, right? So um, so it says that we were praising, we came last. So you get a whole bunch of things that were created in the heavens. And then afterwards, praise from the earth. And you get everything that was created on the earth. And only then do you get praise God, the kings of the earth, and all the peoples, and the Bukhurim and the Butulot, the, the um, young men and the young women. Amar um, Amarav uh, Samlai Kashem she kiluso eno elo achor behima chayav of kach brioto 
Eno ela achor behima chayal ba'ov. It says, just as we were last when it comes to praising, and we came after the tame animals, the wild animals, and the flying things in Psalm 148, so too in our creation, we came after the tame animals and the wild animals and the off. Well, there's a reason. It's not coincidental. You know, the Psalms was based on the Genesis passage. It's exactly the same. However, matame, what's the reason? So first we have that God made all the stuff that hung out in the sea. Vurcharkach, v'yomelihim totsei ha'aretz, and then God made all the things that kind of grew. Vurcharkach, v'yomelihim na'ase adam, and only after that did God say, um, you know, out came uh, humanity. I think that will do for today. Do you know we are before God? We are frail because He says, "No man sees my face and live." That's why we say. Bless the Lord in my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Um, thank you. I've given you a handout with some stuff that we'll come on to next time. We're going to do a little bit of Ben Sarah stuff. Um, if you want to leave those behind, I'll 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 look after them for next time. But um, if you want to take it, please take it. Got some greeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure the email has even left my computer. Can we meet later next week? Can we do 1.15? Um, I'm sorry, I have a bet din I need to be at in the morning. So I'll confirm that by email. But um, next week, 1.15. I'll confirm it by email. Oh, so you don't do email? I can't remember. 1.15. Do you want me to give you a call on Monday? I'll remind him on Shabbos as well. That means I've got to be there. <laughs> You've got to be there on Shabbos. Yeah. Yeah. You will be. Well, we missed you this Shabbos. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot. Oh, yeah. oh, sure. No, you... I can say what you want this Shabbos. <laughs> did you, did you, did you... <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't <laughs> go anywhere, Brian. It was a friend's <laughs> golden wedding anniversary. Ah, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> um, how are you three times? The kiddish was good. The kiddish was good. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, please take the bag. Thank you, Batum.